Hello, 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 and welcome to Sir Jaxley Plays MMOs. I'm Sir Jaxley, and today we are looking at Arcade. That's right, folks. It has finally, after a long anticipated time, launched. And we're creating new characters. Now, as you can see here, here's my Lady Jaxi character. She is my Ferran. And this is the main character I'll be playing with, my wife, Shy Blue. But today, we are going to create a new character. Now, one thing you may have noticed different from the beta is that there's only two character creation slots available here. And I actually have patron status, and this applies to me as well as everybody, I guess. Um, whether you're a patron or not, which is really disappointing. You can only create two characters for free. Even as a patron, I can only create two characters. I can buy up to four more characters, or actually, I think it may be an unlimited number of characters I can buy slots for, but I actually have to buy the slots in order to make the characters. This... <sighs> Now, if you watched my Ferran character creation, my Lady Jackson character creation, you may want to skip ahead because I did go over this there too. This is something that is really problematic. It doesn't take it. I understand that free-to-play games have to make some money somewhere. And that's fine. I have no problem with that. But don't make your money off from selling character, uh, character slots. It just causes more trouble for your company. Ultimately, people who want to play for free and want to play more than two characters are just going to take and create another free account. And they're going to create their characters that way. Now, sure, this boosts up the number of people that the company can say are playing the game or who are subscribed to the game. Well, not subscribe because you're not paying a subscription. So I guess who are, I don't know. But it just, it doesn't make sense. You're not keeping people from creating more than two characters. Not only that, you have four races. Okay, at least provide four character slots so that you could, the people could create a, you know, one of each race and see what race they like better rather than taking it, you know, then start charging. But this giving two character creation slots just really, especially to patron members, come on. You're already taking, you gave 15 bucks a month and now you want more money on top of that? <clears throat> I'm not too happy about that. Okay, rant over and aside, let's create our next character. My character that I'm going to be playing mostly solo is going to be an elf. And as you can see over here, there's actually two factions or alliances. You have the Nuian Alliance, which is your Nuians and elves. And you have the Harani Alliance. Harani, uh, I guess you would pronounce the Harani uh, Alliance, which is your Ferran and your Harani. And they're Basically, as in any game that has factions and alliances, they're hostile to each other. One of the really interesting things, though, is that they can't even take and talk to each other until you learn the new language. And each faction or alliance is based on their own continent. The Nuian alliance is on Yuya, and the Harania alliance is on Harania. Pretty simple. So we're going to go with an elf. And... Again, one of the things I've already complained about in my beta character creations is the limitation of the creation, but I'll get to that in a minute. So each race has their own quote, and the elf's quote is, the blood of life is honor, and the blood of death the same. Pretty deep. Maybe not. I don't know. So elves seclude themselves deep in the forest, avoiding other races as much as possible. Though envied for their beauty, their behavior is considered incomprehensible. Hoping for an honorable death, they often deliberately seek out danger. They feel the ultimate honor is vengeance for their past defeats. 
Okay. And their racial buffs are actually more aquatic than most elves are in that they have a buff called Endurance Training. And trained for combat from the day they can walk, elves possess increased physical ability. This stamina allows them to hold their breath underwater for an extra 20 seconds. And their other buff is Life Flow, L-I-T-H-E. The decades spent around Goanid Lake, I'm sure I'm not pronouncing that right, but I'm sorry, uh, make most elves talented swimmers, increasing their swimming speed by plus 5%. So pretty interesting twist that, you know, elves are more of an aquatic race than they are in pretty much any other lore. So we're going to go ahead and create the appearance. And this is where I get into my beef. The only thing you can really change is your head from the neck up. Oh, you can change your skin color too. But basically from the neck up, that's it. I can't be taller or shorter. I can't be fatter or skittier. I can't be bustier or boxier. Boxier. I can't be muscular or, you know, puny, geeky, dirty. I can't do any of those things. I'm stuck to the head alone. Which, for an MMO coming out in 2013, 14, 2014, sorry, that. You know, even an MMO coming out in 2013 or 2012 to limit character creation to the head alone don't make a lot of sense to me but it is what it is so let's see if we can't find a pre-made that we like to start with oh, let's see I'm not finding anything I like here really didn't want to create one from the ground up but I may have well, that one's okay. We'll go with this one. So, I went with the pink, the, the purple here, hair on Lady Jaxie, so I'm not going to do that on this one. Uh, what do we want to go with? I really like this, this bubblegum pink. I actually really like that hairstyle, too. Well, this one's pretty good, too, I guess. Huh. Do I want longer hair on my elf? Elves I usually like with longer hair. Oh man, if that thing didn't have the handlebar over there, I wouldn't take it. I would go with that hair. Oh, look at that. Floofy. Oh, ain't that bow cute? Got a hair bow. Actual hair bow. Okay. Oh. Eek. Where's her hair? They saved half her head. Not good for an elf. Ah, uh, that looks like an elf's haircut. So is that to an extent? But I think I'm just going to go with the straight hair that was on her to begin with. That's usually what I like on my elves, is long straight hair. So we'll just go with that. Now. One thing I did find while I was doing my on is they've got this thing down here called smile and you can actually click that and they automatically smile now with this mouse she shows an awful lot of teeth so let's see if there's any other Ooh, my fraud i liked how showing teeth she actually has fangs it's pretty cool but i don't know if i like i guess the smile on the elf just means they open their mouth and show you their teeth don't know if I like that so much. Let's see, detail. You also have this smile frown slider too, which you can play with. We get rid of teeth, she's still smiling, but she see or we can make her frown with that. So we're gonna turn smile off on that one. Apparently all that does is show you some teeth on here. I'm not too worried about seeing her teeth. Okay, so the eyes I like, pretty much like the face all the way around. What about the ears? I could do with a different set of ear sets. Her ears are a little long. Ooh, there we go. 
No, L's are supposed to be pointed. They're supposed to be, I don't know the word. Okay, ears. Do we have ears here somewhere? Please tell me that I can fix my ears. Here we go, ear size. Bring those down just a little. Your angle, huh? Oh, nope, we don't want her to look like a bat. There we go. That's good. Okay. I'll confirm that. And let's see. Eye color. Eyebrows. What do we want for eyebrows? Those work. Now, just like I was saying in all my other character creation videos for this game, I really want them to take and be more consistent. With the hair, you pick, pick from swatches. Okay, those are nice, no big deal. A little limited according to some people, but not big deal. Then with the eyebrows, though, all of a sudden you get into a color wheel and slider. Now, with that type of setup, there is no way possible to match my eyebrows to my hair color. And that I really don't like. You know, I'm sorry, I go for a little bit more realism. I want my eyebrows to match my hair. Now, here it's pretty good. It's not the best, but it's as, about as close as I'm going to get with this type of a setup. Now, if nothing else, give us a color, po color pointer so that we can click on the hair and get the color. Just, you know, another little complaint that I have there. Now, the eyes, I actually like them being the blue. There we go. That looks good. Now, style. I'm not going to worry about style until after I take and check out paint because that's all going to depend on that. Let's see. I, age lines. Do we want age lines? I like that. That works. We don't want them to be an old. We don't want her to be an old lady. You know? I don't necessarily want her mega young either. Okay, we'll leave it there. Skin color. Is there a color we want over another? Ooh, a gold elf. I like that. I'm gonna go with that skin color. And then paint. Like I said, this is what just covered up the whole style thing, so I don't even bother looking at the styles. Ooh, I like that. That goes really well with her skin color, too. What else we got? No. We could be a clown. Yeah. Well, that goes with her skin color, too. I don't know. That's a little too gaudy. Peacock feathers, or feathers. I like those. This is what I went with on my other one. I went with the butterfly mask. I like that still. It actually matches the skin color. There's that wisp that Shy Blue went with on I believe it was the Nguyen that she had, and it looked like she had booger coming out of her nose. It was funny. But we're going to go with the flames. I really like that. That blends in well with the skin tone. And of course, those of you who watch me know I don't take and, you know, do anything with scars. That's just not my style. We're going to save this appearance as elf. Just for whatever. As you can see, it's actually saved to my hard drive, which is nice. I try and save my appearances because, well, there's a glitch right now. And this is part of the reason why you never know when there's going to be a glitch. But there's a glitch right now where there's people who are logging in and their characters are gone. Now, according to the forums, uh, the characters are still there. Nothing's wrong with them. And when you log out and wait a couple minutes and log back in, your character's still there. Only problem with that is what happens if your character somehow accidentally isn't there. It's nice to be able to save the appearance. I really like that. It saves a lot of time. Okay, so going on to skill set. Now, the last elf we did, we did her as being a occultism. And we named her Lady Death. Which I'm pretty sure that name's going to be gone by now. But, since our Farad is an archer, I think we're going to stick with going with the occultism. I'm not big on playing warrior characters. I may play a Nguyen as a warrior. We'll see what goes on with that. 
sorcery is nice, but I really like the occultism aspect. And there's one that I really, I mean, I like the summon wraith, but I also really like to have the absorb life force. So we're going to go with that for right now. Let's see if Lady Death is available. And of course, we can't, get my cursor out of the way, we can't take and capitalize anything except for the first letter of our name and we can't take and choose not to have the first letter capitalized either first letter is automatically capitalized and then all the others are automatically lowercase again guys this is not the way to run a mmo in 2014 so create character lady death confirm Wow, that name is still available. How about that? Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, I present you with Lady Death, the Elven Occultist. Okay, these are the short ones. So, you know, let me know if you like shorter videos in the comments, huh? You know, my character creation videos, they're shorter. My gameplay videos, they're about an hour long. Let me know what you like. If you don't like hour-long gameplay, let me know and I'll try and break it down and chunk it down into, you know, half-hour gameplay. We'll see how things go with that. Either way, I hope you liked this video. If you have, go ahead, give it a like below. If you're not subscribed, well, there should be a big yellow subscribe button down there in the right-hand corner. Go ahead, click on that, and that will take you to subscribe. Once you've subscribed, be sure to click on the gear next to the word that says subscribe because by default you don't get notification of new videos even if you are subscribed. Kind of doesn't make sense to me, but that's, you know, YouTube's decision. So you gotta click on that little gear and then take a tick off, notify me of new videos. Okay, um, let's see, anything else? I don't think there is. This was, you know, just showing you me running through my thoughts as I create the character. Again, like I said, if you liked it, like it, share it, all those neat social things. I really do appreciate you taking, stopping by and, you know, consider subscribing because we will, we're going to be getting back into playing Rift for a while. Um, we're going to get back into maybe doing Aura Kingdom. We do throw out City of Steam videos every now and then. Now, of course, we're going to be playing a ton of Arcade, at least for a while. Um, let us know, are you playing Arcade? Tell me in the comments below. If you are, what character, what race, and, you know, what skill set are you playing? If you're not, why aren't you? What is it about Arcade you don't like as an MMO? Also, if there's any other MMOs you'd like to see us play, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Or you can tweet me or any number of ways you can reach me. I'm all over the place and I'm Sir Jaxie fading out.